Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna be doing a review on some stuff. Now, this is not gonna be your average tech review uh, where I just talk about stuff. This is actually gonna be something that I'm personally interested in my life. Uh, I'm constantly looking at ways to make my life a little bit easier or certain things that I feel need improvement. Um, so on that note, today we are going to be reviewing a mop that I saw on Instagram ads. Um, it was a certain kind of mop, but when I originally looked at it, there was a flaw in the design where the dirty water just ends up going back into where the clean water is. And that seems like a huge flaw. So I found a mop that doesn't do that. Now, to some degree, you're still gonna be putting a dirty mop into a clean water source, but I'm hoping that this takes out enough of the dirty water from the mop so that it's more clean water than dirty water. But that's what this review is gonna be about. We're gonna go over that and how good this mop actually is. This is a mop from, looks like Mast Home or Mast Home, I don't know. Um, this was about $39 on Amazon. Uh, I'll have the link posted below. And for the most part, I'm really excited about this. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go into the box opening and we'll figure that all out. So today I, you know, I, I saw this on the, um, on Instagram and I thought, wow, that's a really great idea. Maybe I should, we, we have an old, like just a plain, you know, circular mop head. It's always kind of bothered me about how dirty the water got after I was done cleaning the house. So for this experiment, we're actually taking the, probably the dirtiest room in the house, which is where our dog lives pretty much. Uh, the, this is the back patio. And uh, I figured that would be the perfect test for a mop like this because you're pretty much guaranteed a ton of dirt and uh and everything so essentially you have your thing what's really cool about this is that you can change how damp you want your mop to be so in certain cases you might want them to be a little bit more uh dry and a little bit more wet probably depending on you know the type of soap that you're using one two three four five mop heads in this particular thing, which is kind of nuts. I'm not reading any of the directions because who does that? So here's your mop. This, if you can see this, this area is where the clean water goes. And out here is where all the dirty water ends up. It's got a little spout out here. So maybe after we'll put the dirty water in a like in one glass and then we'll see if we have any clean water left over and see what that looks like and kind of compare the two after we are done like that. Um, it does have, if I can find it, let us see. No, right here. Man, they make you, they make you, op make you open it so you can use the whole thing. <laughs> this is most li more than likely useless, but the whole point would be so you could just go ahead and just get a little lock off. You go ahead and just put some detergent in there, but I don't think that's going to be very useful. I want to see how this works exactly. So here is our, here are our poles it looks like. One of the complaints about this mop in particular is uh, that the handles get a little loose, I think is what I was reading on the reviews. Um, which, I mean, I'm sure that's probably on a per item basis. You can't, the, the fasteners are um, plastic, so you're gonna get people who probably stripped all of their things. There you go. Essentially, what you do is you go right here, take this, this goes in there like that. You get your new water. Supposedly, the dirty water goes out on the side and you're good to go. We have our instructions here. 
Okay, we've got the brush probably to clean stuff out. Fill water into the cleaning area. So that's going to be these holes right here. The dewatering area and a button. Turn the button and let the water flow into the cleaning area. Three seconds recommended. Then hold the rod and insert the mop into the dewatering area. Move the mop up and down and squeeze out the sewage or stains into the sewage area. So we will go get some water and check that out. Now, should have got our hot water. We're gonna do this test without, ooh, we're getting water everywhere. Okay, so it goes into both sides, it looks like. And it looks like. Interesting, okay, stick this in there. So on that, we got about half of it wet. It says for 30 seconds, but you probably got to fill it up all the way to get the benefits of that. But probably as you're mopping. Oh, okay. So it comes out of here is what I'm seeing. That's pretty cool. Cool, so yeah, it ends up out there. Cool. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just mop back here. I'm gonna probably do a time lapse and then uh, we'll come back, check it, see how dirty the mop heads get, see how dirty everything else gets. And then lastly, we'll see how dirty the regular clean water is compared to the reservoir water on the side. So, we'll do that right now. All right, so now we are here. Oh, excuse me. All right, so I don't know if you can really tell. Um, basically, this is how it works. Place this towards you guys. You put this end here. You go like this. And there you go. And now you have a clean mop head for the most part. So something to keep in mind is that you will have to do this a lot in terms of going back and forth it seems, but what matters is how dirty is the clean water reservoir in the middle. So what we'll do is I'll put this here Hard to tell. This is probably going to be pretty gross. Not very well, did it? Gonna be getting a little messy. Alright, so basically this is the water that we uh, ended up being our dirty water. That's pretty gross. And then this is the water that we ended up uh, getting after. So that's kind of the difference between the water you're still putting in and the water that you're not gonna, it's not gonna be perfect. There's still like some gross stuff in here, but 
At the same time, it's better than just pouring, putting your water back into this kind of grungy water. Um, so this is a good one in my book. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Um, this is pretty cool. We usually have about five or six rooms that get mopped um, with tile or laminate or stuff like that. So, so far this product is great for us. Um, you'll have to let me know if it's great for you. Uh, one of the biggest concerns with what I was seeing online in terms of reviews overall was that it wasn't big enough. In most houses, it's gonna be just fine. For commercial use, I understand where people might say it's not big enough, but overall, I think for the consumer, the normal average consumer, this will be a great mop for you. Uh, I will let you guys know in the future, in the comments, build quality, stuff like that. So if you guys have any questions in the future, doesn't matter when you've watched this, um, I will give you guys a real update on how this mop is treating me and how it ends up treating me in the future. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me and let me know uh, what those questions are and maybe I can assist you with those in the future. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching this video if you've gotten this far. I appreciate every view. Uh, if you could go ahead and click the subscribe button down in the bottom and hit the bell so that you get a notification every time I post something. I have these types of videos and I also have unboxing videos as well in case you're interested in seeing how liquidated uh, merchandise is purchased and then resold. I will also have Amazon FBA marketplace videos up in the future as well once I get some more history along going with that and what it means to be like an e-commerce business person and yeah so uh, have a great day and thank you so much for watching.